Hey everybody, Bridget back to do another tag. I just want to say before I go into the tag, I was planning on doing Booktubeathon, however, after thinking about it for a really long time, I don't have time to participate, unfortunately. I had marked it in my calendar and everything, and I had planned out my TBR, and I was going to record a TBR and everything, and things came up, and I couldn't record it, and then, you know, all of a sudden, the day, day one started, and I did not have time to record a video at all that first day, so it was like, why? What's the point? With that said, here is a tag video for you guys. This is my intimidating TBR tag. I've seen a few people recently do it. I believe Connor at Connor O'Brien. I've seen him do it recently. I've also seen uh, Kayla from Bookadoodles recently do it, as well as Giselle Bradley do it. And I just thought it was a really interesting tag. It gets me to talk about books that I don't normally talk about because they are intimidating and I probably haven't read them yet, so... Question number one is, what book have you been unable to finish? And for that one, I chose The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. Liu? Liu? I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. I read this a while ago. I left the bookmark in there forever, saying I will eventually get to reading this. But I just couldn't. So I took the bookmark out and like it left an indention. That's how long the bookmark had been in there. It left an indention in the book. So yes, I was unable to finish this just because I found that there wasn't a strict or like solid plot that I understood or maybe it just wasn't explained correctly, but I was very confused as to what the story was even about. So I had to stop it and I tried. I really tried to pick up on what the story was about, but I, I don't know. And plus, I went so long without re-picking it up that I completely forgot what I read to the first. And I made it halfway through the book. I mean, you could see, I made it halfway. And I still didn't know what it was about. So yeah, I, I couldn't finish it. I'm going to attempt again, eventually, but not anytime soon. Question number two is, what book have you yet to read because you just haven't had the time? For that one, I'm going to say The Crown Tower by Michael J. Sullivan. This is the prequel series to the Ryeria Revelation series. This is the Ryeria Chronicles, book one. I just haven't had the chance to read this because I want to like physically sit down and read this book, wherein I have not actually sat down and read a physical book in probably a month and a half. Mm, more like a month. The only book I've read this month so far, this month so far only, is Clash of Kings because it is part of the hashtag read a song of ice and fire and I literally just finished listening to it this morning. Just finished because I haven't been jogging and jogging is where I actually listen to the majority of my audiobooks. That and in the car. But I'm only in the car really max half an hour to an hour a day. So those times when I'm jogging, I'm actually jogging for about an hour to two hours. That is when I get the majority of my time listening to books. And since I haven't been doing that, it took me longer to listen to Clash of Kings. I just finished it, just finished it. So I am currently listening now to Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch, which is book two in the Gentleman Bastard series. So yeah, I just have not had the chance to list, to read this. Um, I've got about two or three books that I plan on reading here very soon, and when I get some time, I will definitely do that. Question number three is, what book have you yet to read because it's a sequel? For that one, I chose Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archives series, and I just have not gotten around to this because the first book was really, really good. However, the first half of that book was not the best in my opinion, so it just intimidates me to continue this book because I really, really, really loved the ending and I want to like the sequel. I'm just afraid that I'm going to have the same feelings towards it that I did the first half of book one, so I have not got around 
to reading it. Plus, it's been a while since I read the first book, so I probably have to do some kind of skimming so that I can remember. Question number four is, what book have you yet to read because it's brand new? Well, I hauled this one in my last haul, so it's new for me. It's not a new book at all. The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. This is book one in the First Law trilogy, and I just bought this maybe a month ago. So I have other books that are, you know, more important than this one right now, so I just not have gotten around to it, but I do want to start this series very, very soon, possibly in the next couple months. Question number five is what book have you yet to read because you read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it? For this one, I chose The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. I read the first two books in her Iron Fae series and I did not like it at all. So I have the entire trilogy to this and this one seems a lot more interesting to me but I have yet to read it because I did not like her other series. So I'm just not sure. Again, the hesitation is still there. So, yeah. Question number six is, what book have you yet to read because you're just not in the mood for it? Dare You To by Katie McGarry. I have a lot of Katie McGarry books. I read Pushing the Limits and I really did enjoy it. I just have not gotten to this because I have, it takes a lot for Bridget to get in the mood for romance. Okay, so this will probably be sitting on my shelf for years before I get to reading it. But one day, one day in the future, I will be like, you know what? I feel like a romance. And on that day, I'll pick up this book. I will. I'm also not the biggest contemporary reader. So really, I could name any contemporary book and that would be the one I'm not in the mood for. Question number seven is what book have you yet to read because it's humongous? Now, I like to pride myself in reading, always reading very large books. I almost always love reading huge books. However, this one not only has quite a lot of pages to it, but it physically is large, so it intimidates me. And that is Zandeva by Yoshitaka Amano. And I bought this book a while ago. And it's just very intimidating because it's gigantic. So it's like, not only is it a big book, so it's going to take me a while to read, but it's like, how can I, you know, lay this book where it's comfortable for me to be able to read this? You know? You know? It's like, not a lot of actual words, but still... It's the comfort of it, and it still is pretty thick, even though a lot of pages are mostly picture and not, you know, words like this and stuff like that. But there's there's some pages with it. That's the number of ooh, huge in the most humongous of ways. This book is big. What book have you yet to read because it was a cover buy that turned out to have poor reviews? I mean, I have quite a lot, but I don't ever regret buying books. If I had to pick one, I guess I would say Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Cover is gorgeous. I like anything with like white backgrounds. It looks very clean, very crisp, and then like with the blood coming down the crown, it just like it has a very beautiful cover. Every review that I've read on this, every YouTuber that I've watched, they usually have something pretty negative to say about this book, so I have not read it yet. Maybe one of these days. But for now, this pretty book will just sit on my shelf. Question number nine is, what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? And for that one, I chose Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. This is a science fiction novel. Basically, like, the moon breaks apart and falls to Earth and creates this catastrophic event in which they have a certain number of years to get man into space before the earth like dies and then it also shows you know a thousand years into the future when they believe earth is back to being able to possibly house human lives so they like are going back to earth to see how it turned out and the concept of this book just sounds so amazing, but the author did a lot of research, and although it is fictitious, 
and there's a lot of stuff that, you know, obviously can't physically happen. It's still very scientific in how it reads, and it's got a lot of little tiny text, and I've already started this book, and I'm here, and I think that took me a good two weeks to read, because not only did I want to, you know, read it as slowly as possible to understand it. I wanted to look up terms and stuff because there's a lot of scientific terms and everything in it. So this is very intimidating for me to read because I'm just not that smart. So yeah. Question number 10 is who do you tag? I don't know who hasn't done this tag, so I'm not going to tag anyone in particular. I do have to say though, if you want to do this tag, you're tagged. You. Yes, you. Do it. Do it. Do it. So that is it for my intimidating TBR tag. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!